happened. It struck me and then it let go. It was fast. It was within a second or two. A Tierra Santa man recovering after surviving not one, but two rattlesnake bites. 10 News reporter Michael Chen spoke with him as he described the harrowing showdown with this rattler. At the end of Veracruz Court. Scenic and peaceful. Near a canyon. Very nature. A too close encounter. I was in here doing my work. Tuesday afternoon. Getting my walkway prepped. As Michael Garnsey reached for some plywood in his front yard. It was a sharp pain. The pain was right here. Right above his wrist. Under him, the culprit, the seven inch baby rattlesnake. It was coiled up and it struck me and then it let go. It was fast. It was within a second or two. Garnsey actually took out his phone and snapped this photo after getting bitten so the snake could later be identified. It suddenly hit him. There are families with young kids all across this neighborhood. He had to take care of the snake, so he grabbed the shovel. But as he was planning his move... It struck me right in this area right here. A second bite. Garnsey struck back and killed the snake. I feel fatigued, tired. My arm was getting really painful. His family drove him to the ER. I can't believe this is happening. After three doses of antivenin, he was released a day and a half later. It's all kind of sore. Garnsey's painful encounter, the latest example of an active rattlesnake season. Lakeside Fire tweeting photo after photo of snakes. The month of May, typically the time. The rattlesnakes have been on the move. When the most bites occur, Garnsey hoping his story will help others. I wanted people to be aware that to be careful, Michael Chen. It sprung up onto my arm. 10 News. Baby rattlers are considered dangerous because they can't control the amount of venom they inject. If you do get bitten, Garden's knee suggests that have someone call the hospital to make sure they're stocked with anti venom before you arrive. Back